teaching. It is something so targeted and so specific to black people. An all new the soul of a nation. Tonight at 10, 9 central. Developing now on ABC Big Two News. I've always considered it to be a historic, you know, it's a part of Crane and I don't think it'll ever be forgotten. Developing now at 6, a popular restaurant owner in Crane suffered a big loss. Her beloved restaurant was destroyed in a fire. Yeah, it's very devastating here. ABC Big 2's Rob Took joins us live in Crane. Rob, you talked with the owner and restaurant regulars. Well, that's right, guys. This is really devastating news for locals. And I'm told my friend's grill was like a landmark here in Crane. And now it's gone. People have been stopping by to see the restaurant themselves. Now they want to make sure they can remember it the best way they can. You know, they, that's how they looked at it as their friend's grill. Like, they were very comfortable there. The food was awesome. They lived in Crane. They've ate here. Norma Pinedo is the owner of My Friend's Grill. She stopped by to look at what was left of her restaurant. The Crane Volunteer Fire Department says they got the call just before 5 a.m. took us a few hours. We had high winds, so that did not help us. They say the damage makes the building a complete loss. It was like a growing place. I know people that used to work here years ago, their kids were basically raised in here. And then now they they got kids of their own and their kids are coming here, you know. Like Norma says, this wasn't just a restaurant, but a place for the community, for families. You can see the restaurant coming down the road by its iconic windmill. The only thing that is left standing. That's a landmark. And I'm just devastated about it. I was shocked. I was like, no, <laughs> no, not my friend's grill. No, I mean, I just, when I seen it on my cell phone on the local news, Crane restaurant, I said, what? And then I looked at it and he said, what's my friend's grill? I said, mm -mm, can't be. You know? Shannon Mobley grew up in the oil fields. He says this was the place to get food. I don't know, it, it's kind of like coming home to eat lunch when you couldn't get home. That's the quality of the food that they had. We kept, you know, we had the best chicken fries, the best hamburger steaks, the best chicken strips, because it all had that homemade, you know, mashed potatoes and gravy. Everything here was country cooking, but even better than the food was the hospitality. The people inside, they always had a very, very friendly white staff. Because the employees count a lot, you know, if they're good to you, you will be coming back again. And it's the people that fix it, they care about the surrounding area. I asked the owner about the staff. She says they knew immediately. They were here at 4 o'clock this morning. Looking at it, I'll go down in flame, you know. I think the majority of them are heartbroken, honestly, to be honest with you. And people will definitely miss it for sure. Now, the cause of the fire is still under investigation, but the one thing that we do know is just how much people care about my friend's grill. The other big question is whether or not the owner plans to rebuild, but that's something only time will tell. Live in Crane, I'm Rob Tuke, ABC Big Two News. So tragic, and so many people will miss that food. We'll see if they rebuild. Thank you, Rob. Well, you can read more about this fire right now on the Your Basin app.